In the episode number 127 of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about EK and their new pass-through fittings, Astroke launches a new V-Bias for their RX 7900 XTX Aqua 24GB OC graphics card, and Dorfield launches two new cases, the Arx 700 Air and the Arx 700 Air RGB, and Corsair announces the new DDR5 Dominator Titanium RAM kits. We start with EK water blocks and their new torque pass through G1 and a quarter fittings. These new products will be available in multiple color variants and are called the EK Quantum Torque Pass Through. The fittings are made from CNC machine brass and are available in multiple colors to suit your needs. And the colors are nickel, black, satin titanium, and gold. The advantages of these fittings is that they are designed as a panel mounted adapter fitting. This is especially important for small form factor systems that do not have the space for full size fittings, especially around the side panels. When we talk about the pricing, these fittings are available for either 9.49 euros for the nickel and black, or 12.90 euros for the gold and 10.90 euros for the satin titanium. Next, Astroke has launched a new V bias for their RX 7900 XTX Aqua 24GB OC graphics card. The purpose of this new V bias is to deliver a better performance with the graphics card, and it is estimated that with this new bias, the graphics card will get a performance performance bump of up to 13.5%, at least in some applications, which is impressive from just a bias update. From a technical standpoint, what this bias does is increase the boost clock from 2680 MHz to 2935 MHz. Of course, with this new performance comes a higher power draw as this bias also increases the power limits. We continue with Endorphy and their new cases, the Arx 700 Air and the Arx 700 Air RGB. These two cases are designed to provide optimal cooling and clearance as they are advertised to be compatible with any graphics card available on the market. And it's easy to see why they made this bold statement, as these cases are not exactly small and there is nothing to restrict the space around the PCI Express slots of the motherboard. The clearance offered for the graphics card with these cases is no less than 410 mm. Both cases use the same 140 mm fans for the intake and exhaust ports. However, here is where the differences start to appear, as the fans on one case are all black with no LEDs and the fans on the other are equipped with plenty of addressable RGB LEDs. Other features found on both cases include dust filters on the front and top panels, tempered glass side panel, rubber grommets for a better wire management and detachable fan mounts at the front for a better clearance, just to name a few. The design is good and these look like good cases for a gaming system with no thrills, however we cannot say anything about the value as the pricing is not yet established. And finally Corsair announces the Dominator Titanium series DDR5 RAM memory kits. This new RAM series has a new design and is available in two colors, black and white. It features the new Corsair DHX cooling technology and addressable RGB LEDs alongside support for the Intel XMP 3.0 and AMD Expo. These RAM kits are advertised to hit 8000 mega transfers and capacities of up to 192GB in a 4 module configuration. And for that high transfer rate, you can expect cast latencies as low as 30 on at least some systems. No word unfortunately about pricing, but the availability of these RAM kits will start with July of this year. And this is the end of the episode number 127 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.